Hi, this is Radha Venkatraman. I'm one of the programmers for the Firefighters team for OMSS 6440 Intro to Health Informatics program. Howdy, howdy. This is Tony Potter, also on the Firefighters team. And joining our team are Ali Sheikh, Shashindra Pradhan, and Peter Graining. We're working with Paula Brown of the CDC and Jeff Duncan of the Utah Department of Health to link clinician death data to a fire server. There's a link to Deliverable 1 down below. The death information of a healthcare provider is available in Department of Health Master Person Index DOMHPI PostgreSQL Server. Our job is to transmit the data from the DOMHPI server to the Department of Medicaid and Health Finance DMHF via FIRE. The State of Utah Directory of Clinicians has a record of deceased health practitioners in a PostgreSQL database. We extract the data from the database using appropriate queries and parse it to a FIRE JSON object. We then pass the JSON object to the Medicaid server, either updating or creating a practitioner object in the FHIR database. We'll be using Python, which has packages for both database extraction and FHIR insertion. We'll be using REST services to create, read, and update records appropriately. We'll be using Django as a web server for the user interface, and we're still determining the best method to collaborate. We're currently using OneDrive, but we may switch to GitHub at a later date, perhaps using an online IDE such as Cloud9. Our user interface will allow three different criteria for the updates. You can update by the provider's master person index number, first name, last name and the date of birth, or you can update for a particular date, or you can also select a range of date for updating. As I mentioned before, we're going to be creating, reading, and updating practitioner resources. We're planning on using the practitioner role and changing it to deceased, or possibly extending the practitioner resource in FHIR. Uh, one of the things that we're looking for is to update existing practitioners or creating non-existing practitioners. We're definitely going to have to edit an existing practitioner, making sure that their existing practitioner roles, the period dates, are terminated. And all of our fire da data calls will be done via the REST API. In the grant chart, as you can see, we have four major tasks planned for the next two weeks. Querying the PostgreSQL server for the disease provider, translating the data from the SQL server to the fire object, transmitting the fire object to the server, and creating the GUI interface for our project. You will be hearing detailed updates on the progress of these activities in the following weeks. Thank you for watching. We look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks a lot for watching. We will see you again.